In this tutorial, we will be learning about how factors within a rational equation can tell us where a point of discontinuity is. A point of discontinuity is a point on the graph that does not exist. It is often referred to as a hole. These are drawn by adding a circle at the location of the discontinuity. A point of discontinuity is not an asymptote, though. Consider the following function and its graph. We can see from both the function and its graph that there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. Now let's add a factor of x minus 3 in the numerator. Now, the graph of the function has a point of discontinuity at x equals 3, and not an asymptote. Let's look at this a little closer. A point of discontinuity is created when there is a common factor between the numerator and denominator. Take a look at the following function and its graph. We can see that there is a common factor of x minus 5, and that when we look at the graph, there is a hole at x equals 5. When we solve the common factor of x minus 5 for 0, we get x equals 5, the location of the discontinuity. Consider the following function. Take a moment to determine where the discontinuity is. Good, it is at x equals 3. Let's add that to the graph now. There are two ways that we can state the location of a discontinuity. Think about domain. First, you can write that a discontinuity is at x equals 3. Or, you can write that x cannot equal 3. In this lesson, you learned that discontinuities are created when there is a common factor in the numerator and denominator, and that it creates a hole in the graph of the function. Once the discontinuity has been identified, it can be written as either there is a discontinuity at x equals the x value of the location of it, or as x cannot equal the x value of the location.